get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of RX Bars. Uh, they end up selling to Kellogg for $600 million. Check out that interview. This is before I even know, honestly, Jim, how big they were at all and how they built that up. Um, P90X uh, founder Tony Horton talked about how he made money as a street mime uh, before he sold hundreds of millions of dollars. He actually that's how he made food and apartment money. He was a, he put his head on the street and was a street mime at the time. Uh, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell talked about how when Steve Jobs, he was Steve Jobs' mentor, that Steve offered him 33% of Apple for $50,000 and why he said no. And you'll appreciate this one, Jim. Uh, I talked to Noah Elper, who you know, started uh, Noah's Bagels and yeah. later Einstein Bagels. And he told me, he started out selling religious tchotchkes out of his trunk that was not a you know, super successful business. Yeah. And then he wanted to sell bagels. So that was super right. interesting. And um, today's episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Our mission is to connect you with your best referral partners and customers. Um, and we do that through a done-for-you service. We do a done-for-you podcast service to help you connect your best clients and uh, partners. Um, and we also do a done for you event solution where we'll go and partner with companies and do a VIP event for them. Um, and it's behind a greater mission and purpose. Um, you can go to rise25.com slash mission and it's a veteran entrepreneur scholarship. So when we do events, we try and actually uh, fund a veteran entrepreneur to come so they can meet the network and help up level their business. And it, there's a long story behind that. It's my grandfather was a Holocaust survivor in Nazi Germany, while John's grandfather was a B-17 captain pilot who flew 35 missions over Nazi Germany. And we really want to support just entrepreneurs and, and veterans. So go to rise25.com slash mission, apply, and or if you know of someone, tell them about that link. Today, I'm super excited. We have Jim McCarthy. Talk about events. Like This guy is the veteran uh, of events um, and spreading the word on events so people can actually go to them and find them. Um, Jim McCarthy is a co-founder and CEO of Gold Star, and Gold Star started in 2002, which in internet years, Jim is like you know, 300 years old and, um, (laughs) uh, they sell millions of live event tickets to millions of people on behalf of more than 5,000 venues and producers every year. Um, he's a curator and co-founder of the TEDx Broadway. He is on the board of directors for the union station, homeless services, as well as the Pasadena playhouse. And you have to check out sellingout.com. Make sure to find Jim's podcast, um, on there on sellingout.com. And also don't mess with Jim because I read Jim, I don't know, you're a black belt in Northern Eagle Claw Kung Fu. Just that name scares me. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it should. It really should. It's a frightening. In less than three seconds, you could probably kill me. Is that? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. It might might take 10. 10. 10. Okay, got it. You seem tough. Thank you for joining me, though. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. This is great. Jim, I always ask, since the Inspired Insider, two things. First of all, thank you. Thanks for sharing all no, this. It's amazing. Yeah. I love hearing the journey. It's really, it's inspiring to hear. Like when I read Shoe Dog, um, I feel it was like kind of like therapy because yeah. hearing the hard times is, is therapeutic. That like everyone goes through these things. It's not just, yeah. you know, me. So thank you for sharing all those things. Um, one, I always ask, um, what's been the lowest moment and how you push through? And then two, on the flip side, what's been some of the proud, what's been a proud moment for you? I think the lowest moments came early on where there was just, I didn't know how I was going to financially endure, you know, um, and just meet, just meet my responsibility. What kept you, you know? going though? Like, cause you, you for you kept pushing, you could have quit. Well, I, I tell right? you that I'll, this is probably something that, that entrepreneurs should know about too. The lag between the success in your business and the financial rewards of that can sometimes be substantial, right? So the thing that kept me going was we were going well, like the business was going up, up, up. And so here I am going, this is working. But that doesn't mean that I'm 
you're pouring it back in the business. Funny, Is that what right? You mean? Like, yeah, there's a phase, there's a phase where that's appropriate, and there's a phase where it's not. Um, and if you start to drain the resources of the business while it's progressing to feed yourself, you're you're yeah. net net doing a disservice because you know it's it's it needs those resources. It's like you know? you're getting the positive reinforcement, but not maybe experiencing the positive some something like that. Yeah, the, well, the the success of the business oftentimes runs out ahead of your own financial success, um, but it's a very satisfying feeling. It's just that. You got to take a deep breath and say, okay, how long is it going to take to get there? And what do we have to do? You know, and, and I think that entrepreneurs should know that that can happen, but also take care of yourself to some degree when that it gets to the point where you are at risk because you're not getting resources, you have to take that into account, right? Mm -hmm. Like just as the business needs those resources to grow, there comes a point where like if everyone's about to break on a personal level, then we, you need to, you know, the best investment you can make is directing those resources to the people who are going to make your business work on a day in and day out basis. So I'm giving you permission as an entrepreneur to start taking money if that if it if it makes it possible for you to you know make the business work right. Like that is also an investment. It's yeah. not purely selfish or or short sighted. It, it is important. Um, but you know there were there were some tense there were some you know tense times, and we pushed through them. We didn't. Uh, go raise money and give ourselves salary you know it just wasn't that kind of that wasn't that kind of thing yeah so that's when you I'm, you know study northern eagle claw to get out your kung fu to get out your um <laughs> aggression aggression i, you know, I was actually a little bit later but, but okay the point is well made yeah well um on the flip side some proud moments for you oh i i mean i just feel there's been millions you know um we've had um so many milestones either with products that we've rolled out or millionth customer, 10 millionth customer. Um, I'm trying to think of, of recently. I mean, I, I, for example, I mentioned getting to the state with our organizer facing tools where it is truly a self-serve platform and, and digitally integrated with the ticketing systems and everything else. We had a major release on that uh, just a few weeks ago where I'm just looking back in, in wonder at how far that platform has come and how far ahead it is of anything else that's out there. Mm. And so, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things where, where, you know, when you look back from the perspective of where you are, it's, it's kind of amazing, but, um, you know, then again, there's there's a million more to come, right? So. Yeah, and there's there's a couple other you know contributions you can make now because of this. I imagine you're the TEDx Broadway co-founder, yes. and then the Union Station Homeless Services. I yeah, yeah. You, I don't know if you want to mention both of those and, and kind of what your involvement is. Well, TEDx Broadway is a TEDx event on Broadway, just like it sounds. Yeah. And uh, Gold Star has been in collaboration with Situation Interactive, Situation Marketing, I should say, which is a, a Broadway based but not exclusively broadway marketing firm in new york we've been co-producing this event for the last eight years and it is a, a great day it's on september 24th this year at new world stages in new york city so people should come uh, we have great speakers both inside and outside the broadway world that are there and we, we get to you know this is actually another relationship and partnership building opportunity too uh, it's been really fun and and good um unionization homeless services i've been on the board now for about almost six years mm. and it is an organization in Pasadena, California that is one of the most effective organizations in the whole country uh, when it comes to uh, reducing homelessness and actually you know working on the problem of homelessness and we re recently I'm very excited in the near future we're going to be talking about the goal of eliminating homelessness in Pasadena wow. by 20, 2025 um, since 2009, uh, Union Station has been part of reducing the homeless population of Pasadena by 50% at a time when in Southern California and beyond, homelessness has been increasing wow. very fast. So Amazing. it can. Be, I think the message that I would have for people who aren't in Pasadena, aren't in Southern California, but anywhere in, in America and beyond is it's a problem that can be solved. Uh, I think there's a lot of sort of despair about homelessness. We don't we don't have to have it. It's it's uh, the way I put it, and and I think entrepreneurs and business owners can resonate with this. The what we've chosen as a society right now 
is a very expensive solution with very poor outcomes because homelessness as it currently exists is extremely expensive for us as a society to foot that bill. Um, so we've chosen a high price and poor outcome. The kinds of things that actually reduce homelessness are l less expensive and give you an outcome that I think, you know, as sort of decent human beings, we, we don't want our fellow citizens living the way that, that people who are on the street live. And it's no good for anybody. You know, we, you know people should not be ashamed to say, you know, homelessness, you know, degrades the quality of life for everybody, most especially the homeless. But we can do better. That's really the message. Homelessness can be ended. Um, and it's, it's not even that complicated. There's, there's some really straightforward things. We, and there's a lot of will. There, there's been a couple of um, uh, things passed in Southern California, for example, that fund a lot more services for homeless, uh, homelessness prevention and abatement. It's because people care. They, they, don't, they don't want it to be this way. And I, I think it doesn't have to be this way. We, we don't have to have homelessness the way that we have it now. So. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I want to, yeah. Jim, just be the first one to thank you. Everyone should check out goldstar.com. Yes. For any possible events you want to brain, you know, think about and go to in your city, anywhere in the U.S., and sellingout.com. Where else should we point people towards? Those are great. I okay. think, you know, Gold Star, I'd say check Gold Star first. If you want to go out, that's that's your first stop. Um, cool. Selling out is for people who are in the business of selling uh, and marketing live entertainment. And we talk to all kinds of folks that can share their perspective on how they've been successful uh, and beyond. So if you're in the biz, go to sellingout.com and Gold Star. If, uh, if you're not in the biz and you just want to uh, find out what's going on and save money, check Gold Star first. And I think you're going to be pretty happy. Cool. The app, website, it's all there. Thank you, Jim. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.